for a second. I thought that was like, what the heck? Hello, everybody. This is Yoko's Band of Anime Reactions, and I think currently the baby is sleeping. It's about. Okay, okay, that's outside. That's outside. That's outside. Alright, for a second I thought that was white. Knocking over the gate, I was like, no, he hasn't even slept an hour. Okay. Anyway, this is going to be my review for the Rising of the Shield Hero Season 1 finale. Uh. Wish they would stop doing that. I'm tired of that. And I keep on getting. thinking that it's the baby up. Well, he hasn't woken up yet, but I'm hoping he'll sleep for a good long while. Anyway, uh, yeah, without having to use the blood sacrifice thing, because Nafumi was about to use it in this, uh, the girl that was part of Itsuki's team, not that I say was, but whatever. Anyway, she helps out and tosses some of those barrels with the wine in it onto where Glass and the others are standing. Since now Fumi is not affected by it, which I think is hilarious, uh, she essentially is, and it looks like she's about to pass out, poor thing. And Lark and Teresa actually show up and, you know, they're gonna take her back and she's mad about him. He's like, get mad at me when you're not about to throw up, essentially is what he said. And they leave, and obviously this isn't going to be over. So this is not going to be the last time I'm going to see them. Great. So when the wave ends, those three are gone. And everybody, thankfully, is still alive. Thank goodness. But later on, we find out that the girl from before, the one I was that helped out Naofumi near the end of the fight, apparently Philo found her trying to drown herself. Yeah. Apparently she was framed for breaking one of Itsuki's accessories, one of his favorite ones apparently. She was framed for it, and they used that as an excuse to just get rid of her. And she was so upset she thought she was essentially useless, worthless, blah 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 blah. And now Fumi decided that this was the best idea to take her in as part of their team because they're gonna need new people because they can't just rely on just Philo and Raptalia the whole time. So they're going to need to expand their party. And this was a perfect opportunity. And he, you know, talked with her and got her to agree to join. Which is good. And he finally told the queen what reward he wanted because he not only helped them out with against the Pope, but with all this as well because if it hadn't been for them finding the dragon uh, hourglass, they might not have known in time and the people probably would have died. Anyway, we actually, uh, he's trying to keep it a secret as they head there, and we actually find out that he is now the lord of, uh, that, I guess that area? Or uh, rather, Raftalia's old village. And he and everybody else is trying to work on getting, you know, rebuilt and restocked and everything. Or rather, that's the, I guess that's the main uh, base for them. I don't know how much of land he has, or if it's just... Uh, if it's all the area where the demi-humans were all staying, then that'd be good. Then if it's, if it's just Raftalia's village, that's great. But if it's every, all where the demi-humans were all living, then that's even better. And Raftalia is starting to get upset about all this because she thinks that he's just preparing everybody, you know... To where he's not going to be around anymore. Because he's been saying during this whole season that he's been wanting to go back home once the waves are done. And Rotali essentially confronts him about this and tells him essentially that she doesn't want him to leave. That, yeah, it upset, essentially upsets her. And he actually hugs her, trying to comfort her, and the others pop up. And actually, the people that are actually helping the demi-humans, not just the demi-humans, but everybody he has, you know, helped out. The magic shop lady, the weaponsmith guy, uh, who else? 
I don't know who else was there, but they, those were at least the main ones that I knew of. And... Anyway... Oh yeah, and the monk lady that was helping them fight in the wave before that. Anyway, uh, the Moriyasu, I think that's what his name was, the spear hero guy, he's actually starting to think that Naofumi's not such a bad guy because he actually doesn't mind going to see, having to go be around him when he goes to see Philo over at their base, and obviously, uh, bitch ain't happy about it that he got his own domain. I mean, what do you expect? What do you have against this guy? I still don't get what her deal is with Naofumi. Not just the fact that he's a shield hero, but it's just him in general. What the heck? Anyway, he essentially tells her, you need to have more of an open mind. And I'm like, really? It took you this long to possibly want to befriend Naofumi? Yeah, that guy's not really that smart. Anyway, I am actually looking forward to season two. I am more curious about uh, what this other world is that the others came from, what's going on there, how... I'd like to learn more about what's causing the waves, because... Yeah, apparently those started coming out of nowhere, as far as we know. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this series. I have two, and once season two dub comes out, I'm going to start recording for that, so... Just be patient, then we'll get started on that at some point. Same goes for the others. Time I got reincarnated as a slime, Overlord 4. Uh, what else? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, whatever else had a sec uh, upcoming season. Anyway, I will see you guys. Uh, next time.